amigos, welcome back to Sonny's Place. I'm Emma and today I'm gonna show you the tools that I use to build the majority of our projects. So if you're looking at taking on more DIY projects around the home or farm, this video is just for you. Let's get started. In total, I use around seven power tools to complete most of my DIY projects. And that's broken down into three different categories. We've got our cutting tools, our joining tools, and our finishing tools. So let's start with the first group, our cutting tools. First up, we've got our circular saw. This circular saw allows us to make straight cuts on uh, wood planks or plywood that you can't exactly fit on a table saw. We've used it a number of times on our coop build here behind me. It's fantastic. I just love this tool. Our second cutting tool is a jigsaw. This jigsaw in particular doesn't have a blade on it right now, as you can see, but it's super easy to take sw swap in and out of there when you need to change blades or if one breaks. Uh, it's just really easy to fix. This little tool allows you to make special cuts like any curved cuts that you might want to make uh, to shape things or some finishing cuts that you quite can't get with a circular saw. Last of our cutting tools is actually one of my favorites and probably the most used in our shop, and that is the miter saw. And if you've been following along on our channel, you've seen this tool being used quite a bit. Now, one of the reasons that this is my favorite cutting tool is because it allows me to make quick, uh, straight cuts on all sizes of lumber. I believe this one does a max of about eight inches or something like that. This saw will handle your straight cuts at about zero degrees all the way up to 45 degree angles. In addition to that, we also get about a 45 degree angle cut if we need it uh, vertically. It makes our building projects go a lot faster and smoother. So it's a super handy tool, highly recommend it. That's it for our cutting tools. Let's take a look at the joining tools. Probably the most common joining tool that you're gonna see used anywhere in the workshop is a power drill. This tool comes in really handy when you wanna do some pre-drilling in your lumber to prevent splits, which happen and they're highly annoying. <laughs> in addition to that, you can swap out your drill bit for screws. But I'm gonna show you a more efficient way to use this tool in addition to the next one to make your builds go a lot faster. Speaking of the next tool, this is an impact driver. Impact drivers are pretty awesome and really powerful. A couple of cool features about impact drivers are that they have more torque or more power to drive screws into lumber. So if you're working with some harder woods like oak, this is really, really handy. The other cool feature that's derived from its name is the impact. Not only are you getting the torque power, you're also getting a hammering force. That's allowing you to drive in screws with much less effort. This is also one of my favorite tools. These tools together make a force to be reckoned with when you're doing DIY. What I typically do is use our power drill to pre-drill our holes, and then I use the impact driver to drive them in. So that's less time I have to spend on swapping out bits. That's why these two are awesome. That leaves us now with our third and final joining tool. And this is actually new to our workshop, but we've already used it a couple times and we absolutely love it. Bam, a brad nailer. This tool makes it super easy to join some flatter pieces onto the lumber. So instead of busting out your hammer and nails, this tool does all the work for you. To round off our tools, We've got an orbital sander. This is also a new tool in the workshop, but it's gonna allow us to do some nice finishing work on some of our nicer pieces like furniture and some of the wood art that I'm starting to make. And that rounds off what I believe to be the most essential tools in your workshop. But I'd be remiss if I didn't cover a couple of other tools. Tape measure. This is an absolute must have in any workshop. They come in various lengths. We've got a 25 footer right here. 
We also have a 30 and I believe a, up to a 50 foot tape measure to allow us to make measurements to make more precise cuts. It's an absolute essential tool. Another tool that I think is a must have is a speed square. <laughs> this comes in really handy. I use it in conjunction with our tape measure when we're getting our measurements to measure length. Uh, and then we use our speed square to mark our straight lines for our cuts. And I simply mark that across and then I know exactly where I've got to make my cut. That's pretty cool. My head hurts. <laughs> but seriously, clamps. Another tool I highly recommend to hold pieces in place, especially if you're working on your own. Clamps make it really easy to hold pieces together while you're joining them. You're not having to finagle or put yourself in some weird, awkward position to join pieces of wood together, because that's just uncomfortable. <laughs> We're almost done, but I've got one more thing to share with you. It's absolutely essential for you to have in the workshop, and that is PPE, otherwise known as personal protection equipment, like these bad boys. Aren't they stylish? And you're working with wood or any other types of material and you're drilling holes, uh, putting screws in, cutting pieces, there's always little bits flying into the air. The last thing that you want is for those pieces to fly into your eyes. Our eyes are super sensitive, so it's absolutely crucial that we protect them. I actually had a friend back in college who decided not to wear her personal protective glasses, and there was a freak accident, and the drill bit that she was using happened to split off, and this little shard shot into her eyeball. Um, it got into her, I believe it's her iris, um, but just missed her retina. But she had, to, she had to wear sunglasses and cover her eye for a bit while she recovered from that, but it could have been even more serious. Please don't overlook your eye protection. Really, really important. And that's it. The absolute essential tools to help with your building and DIY projects around the homestead. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. I'm Emma from Sonny's Place, encouraging you to grow <laughs> or build your best life. Adios. This soup, our circular saw. I can't even talk because it's cold. <laughs> ah, my tongue is cold. My face is cold. My hands are cold. It's just cold in here, guys. It's cold. All right. Or some finishing cuts that you cut. Qua, qua, qua. Quite. Quite. Quite, quite, quite. <laughs> I typically do is you was. What I typically do is use a screwdriver. Ha, <laughs> Protective uh, ear. Uh, protective ear. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about eyeballs. All right.